uh, whether you watching from Facebook, the link in my Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, moviepilot.com, what up world, I just saw The Martian, it stars Matt Damon, Jessica Chastain, Jeff Daniels, Michael Pena, Sebastian Stan, Kate Mara, Shiwatel Edgio Four, Axel Henney, and uh and Childish Gambino, aka Donald Glover, aka he was on community. And uh it's directed by Ridley Scott. Um should should I really have to tell y'all what Ridley Scott has done? Alien, Blade Runner. Thelma and Louise, Black Rain, Gladiator, American Gangster. Um, I mean, his resume is endless, man. Prometheus. Most recently, he did Exodus, Gods and Kings. And um, his last few movies haven't been the most well-received critically. I think that's about to change, though. As far as story goes, it's based on a book. Go read the fucking book. As far as how I felt, um, I mean, I am just playing with y'all, man. Um, the story is Mark Watney is an astronaut. The movie starts on Mars, and they're, they're, they're about to take off or whatever. They're doing their research. A storm comes, and he gets stranded. They think he's dead through no fault of their own. They, they leave him there. He's stranded on Mars. So basically, like he says in the trailer, he has to science the shit out of this. And um, I mean, it's just the movie about one man's fight for survival and trying to get home. And I mean, that's the best way I can put it without spoiling any major scenes. Now, in all seriousness, how I felt about this shit, man. I loved it. I think this is Ridley Scott's best movie since Prometheus. I liked Prometheus. I didn't love it. So this is better than Prometheus. I thought, like I said, I thought Exodus was good. My review for that's posted. My review for Prometheus is posted. Like, where do I begin, man? The, um, the story itself was so interesting, man. I was so fascinated with everything that was going on. Like, I've always been interested in astronauts and space travel and astrology constellations, life on other planets and whatnot. And, um, man, when I was in seventh grade, man, I almost, or maybe eighth grade, I almost went to space camp, man. But, uh, it was in like Alabama or some shit, but the teacher liked another kid more than me and I ain't never been one to kiss no ass. So I just didn't get it. But man, like, like, like the cinematography of Mars, like it was just, it, it looked so real, man. It was like Matt Damon, like they really filmed on Mars, like Matt Damon performance, man. He killed this shit. Um, cause like there's times when he's optimistic and there's times when he, um, I mean, when he snaps, you know what I'm saying? When, when it seems like he might be starting to lose hope and there are, there are moments when like everything is just running so smooth and you just like, okay, well he's, he's going to five figure out how to make everything work, science the shit out of it. And, um, and he's going to get home. But nah, like he runs into some obstacles. He runs into different things, different setbacks, and then the team at NASA, Jeff Daniels, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Kristen Wiig, they um, I mean they they have to like figure everything out for themselves too, man. And like the team, like Jessica Chastain, she was like the 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 team leader, and then uh, Michael Pena, Sebastian Stan, Kate Mara. Uh, Axel Henney, you know what I'm saying? They were the team that accidentally left Matt Damon. They were all likable. I was waiting for the, the random Matthew McConaughey cameo. It would have been cool. It just would have been like a cool little interstellar reference. Um, there, are, there are some things that I'm looking at it like, I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if like the physics and the science and all of that would have added up to make that happen. But then at the same time, it's based on a book. So if it happened in the book, then cool, put it on screen. Like Ridley Scott direction is dope, man, because he gets he gets different emotions out of different people, especially Matt Damon. And like Jeff Daniels is like a brick wall, man. He's thinking about NASA before he's thinking about rescuing one person. And um, Sean Bean is in it. 
Uh, he does. He doesn't get his head cut off. The the music was cool. Like they kind of pull. Like I like how these movies are starting to like during scenes that take place in outer space, not on a planet. There's no music, but then back back on the land, like there there's a score. There's a soundtrack. I just I really don't have no complaints with this movie. Like I was so invested and I was so interested the entire time, and then like. Even like Matt Damon even goes through like a physical transformation. It's crazy, and it, it kind of comes out of nowhere. There's there's like a subtle comedy to it, man. It, there's a, I laughed at a I laughed a lot more than I really thought I would. So that's always a plus. We've gotten just like three three really really dope astronaut space travel movies in the past three years, man. Gravity, Interstellar, and now The Martian, man. So with all that being said, in my opinion, The Martian is dope as fuck. Um, have you seen The Martian? Of course, I want to know what y'all think of The Martian. Uh, if you've read the book and seen the movie, which is better because the book is usually better. Rank, I'm a, I'm a rank. Y'all can rank. I'm going to say Gravity, then The Martian. But then tomorrow I might say The Martian, then Gravity, then Interstellar. Interstellar is not bad, but I like the other two more. Um, I'm gonna see Sicario tomorrow. Next weekend, I'm gonna watch Pan and The Walk. And then the week after that, I'm gonna watch Goosebumps. I grew up in the 90s. Goosebumps was dope as hell in the 90s. So I'm gonna see this movie, even the critics bash it. I'll check out my reviews for The Intern for Hotel Transylvania 2, for Everest, for Black Mass. They're all on the YouTube channel. Uh, tag me in your ticket stubs, whether you watching Sicario, whether you watching The Martian, whether you watching The Walk at IMAX or whatever, whether you watching Hotel Transylvania 2, any any recent releases, man, anything in theaters. Um, you find me where y'all find me, like I be saying. Peace.